126 pound limit. Yusuf Zalal will have a reach advantage of two inches. All right, now for the introductions, we say hello to Bruce Buck. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Lone Star State, from the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, for UFC 247, Jones versus Reyes. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record. Seven wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado, but we have Casablanca, Morocco. Yusuf, the Moroccan devil. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Austin Lights Out Lingo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge. Jeff Rexroad, our referee. The great Luciana Andrade getting us started here for round one of a possible three. Yusuf Zalal, plus 175 underdog tonight as he makes his first UFC appearance against Austin Lingo. Lingo in white, Zalal is in red, and Lingo closing the distance or trying to here early. Lingo joined Fortis MMA two and a half years ago. Couple nice left hands, knee to the body now for Zalal. Right away, I think this is the range that if you're Lingo, you need to be. You need to keep, keep Zalal on his heels, try to close the distance, stay here, make it dirty boxing, and then get back into boxing range. So I think it's a good move how Lingo's attacking early. He knows what you gotta watch, the cap kick. Zalal uses them very well to set up everything. Between the calf kicks and the jump knees, those are the two weapons that you really got to watch because of Lingo's stance. I like how Lingo is closing off the distance. Zalal's got a hold of the leg. Let's see what he can do with it here. Lingo's nose is already bleeding. Not sure if that was courtesy of that high kick or prior. Get your head position on the underhook. Yes, Zalal has a very sneaky left high kick, very quick. Well, before every UFC pay-per-view, get the gambler's perspective by checking out UFC on the line exclusively on Fight Pass. Yanni the Great, Nick Kalikas, join Brendan Fitzgerald to break down the best bets. It's UFC on the line. It's available Wednesday of Fight Week and only on UFC Fight Pass. Watch the law to keep attacking that lead leg because Lingo stays very heavy on it to land his power. Straight right from Lingo, snaps Zalal's head back, but Yusuf had a pretty good flow here early. Nice slip there. Yusuf's starting to have fun in there, relaxing, smiling at him. A lot of good speed and movement from Yusuf, but I like the way Lingo's cutting off the octagon. Not chasing him, he's cutting him off. Good takedown attempt by Yusuf. Good opportunity for some knees here from Zalal. Landed a couple without much on him. Very good knee there. Yep. And another one. Austin's got to get out of there. That nose really bleeding now. Lingo chin tuck pressing forward. And I love that decision of Zalal to keep attacking the takedown. He doesn't even need to finish it. He just needs to stop the pressure and the chasing of Lingo. And that's what he's doing to stop it. Now Lingo can't punch him. And you hear his corner, break away and go, Lingo. They want that from him. Having a little bit of problem with that nose. Footwork's a big issue right now. Well, Zalal has a speed advantage. You can see it in these exchanges, and you can see it in his footwork and movement. 
Zala can switch stance, so he's able to move left or right. Oh, nice knee by Zalal. But good punches there by Lingo. Oh, good right hand by Zalal. Well, this one has been as advertised through three and a half minutes. Zalal's excellent at switching oh. stances, too. Good right hand there by Lingo. This is where Lingo needs this fight to be. Break away, break away, head out. And we'll see if Zalal slows down this fight gets into the second and third round. If this pressure by Lingo. Judging that he comes from elevation training in Colorado, I would say that this, you know, moving like this is probably in it, in the in the mindset of Zalal. But you're right, the pressure adds up moving backwards, but I don't see it. Well, you can speak to that more than anybody. You're such a movement-based fighter. How much more in shape do you have to be to incorporate that than a, 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 an average fighter or a guy who presses forward? For the well, it would be worse, but Zalal's doing the right yeah. stuff. Very nice takedown by Zalal. Well, what's going on? Oh, there he goes. By breaking the rhythm of Lingo with the takedowns and the grabbing and then jump knees and jabs, that makes it a lot more tiring for Lingo than it does Zalal. He's implementing the right game plan with his foot. Good job there by Lingo, pushing off with the hips. And now look, Lingo trying to attack down here. But Zalal looking for a Kimura on the left arm. We've seen a lot of people get slammed here, Joe, but he does the yeah. good thing. He's able to get the takedown, but still in trouble, technically. He can keep that arm. All right, compelling first five minutes. We will follow Austin Lingo into the red corner here. Finishers clash in the feature about the local Trevin Giles takes on James Krause. Don't miss the UFC 247 prelims tonight on ESPN, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So James Krause was here. He was to be in Yusuf Zalal's corner, actually, but stepping up and stepping in to take on Trevin Giles, so he is not cornering Yusuf tonight. You gotta move your feet to get there, every time you kick, you with a punch right away. Good low kick by Zalal. And interesting that Austin, with that strong Muay Thai background, we really haven't seen much kicking from him. Right. Really just pressing forward, looking for punches. And I think, Dom, you could attribute some of that to Zalal threatening with the takedown. Yeah, I mean, the reason Zalal's able to threaten the takedown is is because of the pressure that he's he's coming straight forward. He's yes. not moving in, out, in, out. It's just forward. So that, that makes the takedown a little easier, makes the jab a little easier, and it makes the calf kick a little easier. And those are the weapons that we're seeing out of Zalal. That it, it, it's technical. It's, it's thinking. It's tactics. Yes. Very nice takedown again by Zalal. Unofficially second takedown secured for Yusuf Zalal on eight attempts. One minute gone by here, round two. I mean, this is what you got to do against guys that are pressuring as crazy as Lingo. I mean, I bet you Zalal knew that there would be pressure, but when there's this much, it's smart to go for the takedown right now. It's just an intelligent thing to do because that's how you relieve the pressure of Lingo. Now when he gets up, if he does escape, he's going to be thinking about getting taken down and maybe he won't be so heavy on the forward pressure. You see Austin's corner admonishing him, saying, don't you settle, Austin. Let go of that, Austin. Get your arm down. Left arm down. Good. All right, let's just tying Austin. that arm up. He, he's tired. He Austin, tied the right arm up, and now he's trapping it with his left knee. Get your feet on the hips. He's just going to try to stall you here, buddy. Feet on the hips to push, good. So he's got it trapped Don't underneath go for his body with his nice right elbow. arm, Zalal Try does. to get up here, try to get that wrist free. He's gonna have to do something when he lets Lingo's, go of that hand, you get up. Lingo needs to get his right heel on the, there it is, he got it up. You gotta get your heels on the hips of Zalal to get some space in there. If you're Lingo. Get on the cage now. There it is. He's got one in there, but he's not using his right leg. But he's also not threatening at all with his guard, even defensively. When your arms are down like that, you're open up for omoplatas, but even if you can't get the submission, you can use it to sweep. See, every time you see that leg go up like that, oh, look at this. Potential Darce. Potential Darce. So he's got it clamped down. I mean, it's not fully locked in here. It's not, he doesn't have full leverage and pressure on it yet, but he's in an excellent position. He doesn't like it to let go. Switch to an anaconda. It's front headlock so far. The anaconda's there, he's not taking it. Yep. Now he went back to the dark again. 
Now a standing darts. Austin, I need you to pee Very hard to finish this position. Inside, but it's a good opening for knees to the body. Let's go, buddy. Pummel inside. And more, more importantly, Lingo can't attack. Here. This oh, is how you finish it. Now he's going for it. That's tight. That was smart, but I still kind of got to turn the other way generally. I mean, it's still in there. and Lingo to get out, and thereby remain oh. undefeated, but it's a huge high Let's hit kick there. Go. Austin, you gotta go. And now Zalal goes low, so mixing it up well here tonight in terms of the grappling and the striking. You see the difference in, in the, the weapons so far. It's boxing from Lingo, and it's footwork and tactics when it comes from Zalal. He's keeping him guessing, trying to make a move, hitting him while he moves, and just using tactics with the takedowns to stop the pressure. Also, we have to think Lingo is used to finishing guys. And he's now in the second round of a fight. He's losing, and he's getting outworked and outmaneuvered. He's getting taken down. He's almost got submitted. He's getting into a situation. These exchanges with Zalal is unpredictable. And he continues to do the same thing. He continues to press forward. He's looking for a guillotine here. Hey, now, hand fight. But he's under the chin there. It just doesn't look like he's got the proper squeeze. He's on the wrong hip. He needs to, he needs to move to his left hip if he wants to sink in that guillotine. And Zalal's keeping him on, on, yeah. the, on the wrong hip. Right, yeah. But a guy with a real good squeeze can still tighten it up from there. But it just doesn't seem like he has that. And it also seems like he's exhausted. Yeah, Lingo was training for a fight the first week of March when the call came in for this UFC debut. Lingo loads up on the right hand, nothing doing. Again, Zalal goes high. Ten minutes down. So right here we got the Dars choke. He jumps and tries to throw in, throw the guard over the top, but Lingo does the right thing, turns the correct way to stop the pressure. Gets out of that one. This high kick is set up by faking a low body shot, and then he goes high with the head kick. And here's another takedown by Zalal. Head on the outside, double leg, transitions to a body lock and gets the trip. Fight catalog created by fans, for fans, and coming up this week, past fights from Michael Bisping, Rashad Evans, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and more. It is only on UFC Fight Pass. All right, third and final round here. Safe Saud seemed to intimate that Austin Lingo might just need a finish. After a strong two rounds thus far for Yusuf Zalal. What I love about what Montoya say, say we got to get the center of the ring and then we can implement our striking. But moving back, he said, keep the blending going. And that's set up the takedowns when Lingo is pressuring with your hands. There it is. That's the blend he's talking about. Oh, beautiful knee there. I love how he did that. He set it up, touched him with the hands, and then came straight up the middle with the knee. That was one of the first kicks Austin Lingo has thrown. And it had a good impact. I mean, he certainly is going to need more of that to slow down Yusuf Zalal, who's had really fantastic footwork and good, good changing of, of angles and just overall being very creative and unpredictable in there. Now he's in the center of the ring. Now this is where Zalal starts to get dangerous with his striking. Now we're seeing him switch stance. Now we're seeing him, he's got the space he needs to set up his striking if he's in the center. When Lingo pushes him on his heels, he's got to blend his takedowns and make some fight a different fight. Fight Fan Shop official UFC merchandise 24-7 at UFCstore.com. The real issue for, for Lingo that he's not able to stop that single leg is he's not wizarding. That's getting an overhook over that top arm whenever he gets a single leg shot on him. He's got no defense, essentially. Zalal looks again like he's going to search for the darts, clamping that right arm around the left side of Austin's neck. You hear his corner yelling out, headlock series. Switching it up to the back. Austin rolls. 
Good job of rolling the guard here for Austin Lingo, but he's got to get something offensive done from this position. Especially that Zalal puts both of his arms on the mat, which is a big no-no. Right. But he's getting away with it because Austin really doesn't seem to have an answer for this. Lingo pretty much from the tape looks for a guillotine here, and that's his main submission attempt. And his head coach asked him not to pursue that, to try to get back up. Of course, sometimes the body won't do what the mind wants it to. Final half of this third round. Yeah, you see, even as he's grabbing his leg, you see a pretty significant lack of flexibility. Zalal with some good elbows from the top position. You gotta go, Zalal just very technical in all phases of the game. Nice elbow there. Good job by Austin getting back up. He got his head caught. Zalal with a couple of quick knees. Snaps him back down to the ground. There's Locks the in the anaconda. Yep. Let's see if he rolls. He's got to grab that elbow with his left leg and pull it out. He's going to lock that in. He'll, He's trying. He'll look to step over that elbow and suck it in with his leg, but he can't. Right now, Austin's doing the good thing holding that elbow back to stop the, the anaconda. So he lets go of it, bails on it, goes back to the front headlock. All right, less than 90 seconds now to go. We'll see if Lingo can empty the tank and try to put something on Yusuf Zalal here down the stretch. Beautiful jab from Yusuf. I mean, the efficiency to this performance for Yusuf Zalal. Forget the UFC jitters tonight. He's certainly been a guy who has cornered UFC fighters in the past. Perhaps that's something that's helped him. And one thing I'll say about Lingo is he is losing this fight, but I know he's listening to his corners with the pressure. I mean, I really think he, he took, left, I know he took a lot of damage in probably last fight by pressuring. At least the pressuring is not having him have to force to deal with tons of kicks, just some kicks. See, no wins are there. There's no defense there. So a lot of doing that same move over and over again, grabbing a single and then using that trip. And they're right in front of us here. He's giving us a big smile. He's looking for the guillotine here. He's trying to roll over into the mount. But he looks like he's having a good time. Well, he's controlling the pace of the fight. He's There's got the Dars. He's got this fight where he wants, and he hasn't been a lot of threat because he's just worried about hands attacking him. He's trying to sink that Dars in at the final seconds. All right, so Yusuf Zalal, Austin Lingo go the distance at featherweight. And all indications are that Yusuf Zalal has just lingo from the ranks of the unbeaten job. Yeah, here's a beautiful knee to the body by Zalal. Zalal just mixed it up so well in this fight. And there's that nice left hook that probably caused all the bleeding. And there's one of many takedowns by Yusuf Zalal. And here's one of many choke attempts. This is a Dars attempt here. He went for a guillotine a couple of times, an anaconda. And there's a nice head kick by Zalal right on the noggin and another takedown by Zalal just did a great job of using using all 